and welcome to today's vlog. So I just got back from the gym and had a pretty good workout. I'm dying. Also, I don't know if this is anyone else, but so I have a Garmin watch and obviously it like reads your heart rate and all this kind of stuff. But while I was lifting, like at the end of my workout, so I'm already dying, my heart rate was reading like 62 beats per minute. And like right now it says 105 that I'm not doing anything. So I don't know what's going on with that. But anyways, yeah, so I just got back home. It is now 1.55 and I was thinking of making some lunch because I'm hungry and then I have to do the dishes and then I was thinking about shooting my bow because I haven't shot it since, since I went hunting last fall and I was done pretty early in the season. I shot my deer within like five days of archery. So yeah, it's been a while. So. Let's make some lunch, do the dishes, and then we'll get outside. All right, so I'm back after eating lunch. I devoured that because I was starving. Also, I know that wasn't the healthiest thing to be eating, but it's what we had and i don't really care i'm not working out to lose weight working out to like get toned which again it's not the best food to be eating but i don't care so let's tackle this lovely disaster behind me don't judge Done. All right, now with shooting my bow, I want to kind of recreate this picture that I took maybe two years ago on Instagram that like blew up and went viral. So I do want to also get some content for my Instagram. If you're not following me over on that account, go follow me at Hunter's Hannah. But I do have a shirt like that blue one that I was wearing in that picture. Well, I do have that shirt, but then I also think I have a black one as well. I just need to find it. And I literally just went through my closet and got rid of a ton of stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay. Found it. It's not that hot outside. Like it's maybe mid fifties, I would say high fifties, but it's kind of low wind, hopefully. So this shouldn't be too bad, but this is what I'm thinking to recreate the picture. Just kind of a black top. I got it from Shein, so pretty cheap. It's got nothing to it, but then the back, I don't know if you can tell, but it just kind of like crosses and ties like that. So yeah, I'm gonna do this probably with the, either the same jeans, or my Wrangler jeans that are starting to get a hole in it, which that's bothering me because I love my Wrangler jeans, but oh well, that's okay. So I'm going to change and I will see you when we're outside. All right, guys. So here is the fit that I'm going for. Again, just trying to recreate kind of that one picture, basic top from Shein, Wrangler jeans that are starting to get a hole in the knee. I'm so mad because these are probably my favorite jeans that I own. Anyways, here is the back of the shirt. Just a nice crisscross detail, really, to show off those nice back muscle gains. Because that's what I've been mainly going to the gym for, is to pull my bow back more. Like, pull more poundage back on my bow, if that makes any sense. But, yeah, so let's go get all of that set up outside now. All right, so here is my bow case or bow setup, I guess. <laughs> so this is pretty much how I have this laid out. I just went and grabbed my rangefinder out of my bino harness. I used the Muley Freak Game Changer one. But yeah, this is pretty much my whole setup. I got my bow, extra arrows, my good arrows in my quiver, some bandage wrap because I used to shoot a lot when I was younger and would always end up shooting my forearm and a couple of releases just in case and a ton of pictures 
Of course, all these animals were shot with a gun, but that's besides the point. <laughs> because that's what my top pin is. Also, if there's any hunters watching this and you also go hunt. Anyways, if there's any other hunters in the comments, y'all might are probably gonna say you're pulling back. Not a good way you're gonna hold your back and your shoulder. I know, but I've been pulling my bow like this and shooting a bow since I was three years old. So this is just works for me and I'm gonna do it till my shoulder hurts, I guess. <laughs> Fingers crossed, this goes on the target. Like, that's all I'm hoping for is it hits the target and um, I don't miss. So, fingers crossed. It's been a long time. Ooh. I'd say that was pretty good. It went where I was aiming. Pretty good. It's definitely, definitely pulling back 45 pounds, that's for sure. This is what I can feel. Right? Oh, that was Definitely getting hot out <laughs> as I shoot, so that's that's great. All right, let's go get these chili arrows and do it again. Not terrible for my first time shooting my bow since hunting season. I mean, it definitely needs some work, but again, that's why we practice. Here's that last shot that I just did. So clearly practice makes perfect. And again, it's been a while since I've shot my bow. So obviously the first time wasn't that great, but again, you just keep shooting and practice a couple times a day or as much as you can. Your groups will slowly get closer and closer together. <laughs> At least that's the goal anyways. All right, you guys, well, I think I'm done shooting for today just because I don't like to overshoot myself because when I did that growing up, that's where I would shoot my arm off, literally, and it would hurt like a bitch. But yeah, if you guys also wanted like a bow setup tour kind of thing, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this very short vlog. I'm probably not going to do much else today other than, again, edit those photos and maybe get some reels up from the videos as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more like this, be sure to subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.